This video is all about counting the number of elements in a set. Let's take a few examples. Let's say we have this set x such that x is an odd natural number. Odd natural numbers are 1, 3, 5, 7 and so on. And this is the list where elements do not end. This list never ends. So how many elements do we have? Well, in this case we have infinite elements because the list never ends. Let's take another example. X is an even natural number which is less than 9. So we have a restriction here. The list will be 2, 4, 6 and 8. These are the only 4 elements because we are looking for even natural numbers and that are less than 9. So this is the list. How many elements do we have? Well we have 1, 2, 3, 4. We have 4 elements. Let's take one more example. We are looking for all x such that x is odd and even. Hmm. How can x be odd and even? It can't. Either it can be odd or it can be even. It can never be both. So how many elements do we have? Well we have no elements here. We have zero elements here. This set is an empty set. And in math this is how we classify sets in three buckets. The first one is an example of infinite sets. These sets never end. The elements are infinite. The next one is an example of finite sets. These sets have finite number of elements. And the last one, well, first of all, we don't use question marks for it. Either we use these brackets and put nothing in it. This is also called empty set. Or we use a special symbol called phi to represent these sets. These sets are called empty sets. They're also called null sets or void sets. All three of them mean the same thing. The idea here is that these sets contain nothing. So we have infinite sets, finite sets, and empty sets. Let's quickly practice what we've just learned. Here's a list of sets, and I want you to pause the video and classify the sets as finite, infinite, or empty. Here's the list. We have these many sets. All right. Pause the video, try this on your own. Okay, so let's do this together. Let's take them one by one. Set of all odd positive numbers divisible by 2. If the numbers are odd, how can they be divisible by 2? There's a contradiction here. This means that there is nothing in the set. This is an empty set. Set of even prime numbers. Well, almost all the primes are not even. But there's one prime that is even, which is the number 2. So this set is not empty. This set has only one element. And you can count the number of elements, which means it's a finite set. Next one. X is a natural number and X is less than 5 and X is greater than 7. Well, if it's less than 5, how can it be greater than 7? Again, a contradiction. This means this set has nothing in it. This is an empty set. Next one. We're looking for all Y's where Y is the point of intersection of two parallel lines. Again, how can two parallel lines intersect? There are no points of intersection. If two lines intersected, they wouldn't be parallel. So this means there are zero points or no points, which means this is an empty set. Again, let's take the next one. The set of months of a year. There are 12 months. You can count them. It's a finite set. One, two, three, and so on. And so on means by default, it's an infinite set. It's an infinite set. One, two, three, and so on till 100. Be careful. This is not an infinite set. It stops at 100. So this means this is a finite set. The set of positive integers greater than 100. Well, there are way too many positive integers greater than 100. You can't even count them. You can, you can have 101, 2, 3, 4 and so on. So there is no limit, which means this is infinite. This set is an example of infinite sets. The set of prime numbers less than 99. Well, because there's a limit, you can only go till 99. So you can start with 2 and you can move up and you can count the number of primes. So this means this is an example of finite set. The set of lines parallel to x axis. There are infinite lines that you can draw that are parallel to x axis, which means this is an infinite set. And the last one, the set of circles passing through the origin 0, 0. Again. There could be infinite circles passing through the origin in all directions. This means this is also an example of 
infinite sets with this we're done we now have a good understanding of how we classify sets as finite infinite and empty